Hello, welcome to Simple English Listening, relaxing conversation you can understand. Today I'll continue the story of my trip to the Balkans and my journey to the countries Croatia and Montenegro. Today's vocabulary are vegetation, pebble, peak, summit, peak season, and the idiom dry as a bone. So on this channel, I speak using simpler English language. This channel is perfect for intermediate and pre-intermediate English learners. On to the story. After traveling in Slovenia, my friend Bex and I drove into Croatia. You may know Croatia for their beaches and their football, right? Their football team is the sixth best team in the world right now, above Germany, the Netherlands and Argentina. But only four million people live in Croatia. Only four million people for them to choose their football team from. There's 80 million in Germany, 60 million in France. So they must love football. They were in the last World Cup final against France, if you remember. One thing that surprised me about Croatia was how dry it was. I had always imagined it to be greener, but along the coast from Slovenia to Croatia's second biggest city split, uh, the weather was dry as a bone while I was there. There's a new idiom for you. If something is very, very dry, we say dry as a bone. It makes me imagine uh, the bones of, a, of an animal in the desert, like a buffalo skeleton, dry as a bone. In this part of Croatia, there was not much vegetation. Vegetation is a formal, more scientific word for plant life, trees and crops. At times, there was so little vegetation that I felt like I was on another planet, okay? On the coastal area of Croatia, between Slovenia and Split. Actually, in this part of Croatia, there are 2,007 100 hours of sunshine per year here, compared to London's 1600 hours of sunshine. Do you know what the sunniest place on earth is? It is the city of Yuma in the Arizona desert in the USA, followed by Phoenix in Arizona. In Yuma, there's 4,015 hours of sunshine per year. It only rains on about 14 or 15 days of the year, and the skies are clear for 308 days per year. I wonder what it's like to, to live in a place like that. So scientists say that the ocean around this part of Croatia is a marine desert, meaning there is little life in the oceans around here. There's a very low amount of microorganisms and life in the ocean. And because of this, the sea looks insanely blue and clear sunlight can reach up to 120 meters down under the sea in this part of the world. We drove 250 kilometers along the famous Croatian coast. The road is uh, between mountains on one side and uh, the blue ocean on the other. You can see over the ocean. It's a long coastal drive. And it's beautiful, spectacular views. I definitely recommend it. The second biggest city in Croatia is called Split, which is fun to say, right? Split, Split. One thing I loved about this city was the park next to it, the park Suma Margin Park. We rented bikes and cycled around the park. And there were hundreds of small pebble beaches all around the park all with a crystal clear and bright blue water and uh, pristine forests and trees. There's that word pristine from the last episode. Okay, following this, we went to Dubrovnik, which is the walled city where the TV series Game of Thrones was filmed. All around, there's Game of Thrones sightseeing, t-shirts, fake swords and shields. A big wall surrounds the whole city and is 25 meters high and two to five meters thick. 
It was made in the 13th century to protect the city from attacks from the sea, especially from the Republic of Venice. You can walk around the top of the wall, which takes half a day. Quickly, before being an Italian city, Venice was the capital of its own country for over a thousand years. The Republic of Venice ruled over parts of modern day Italy and Croatia. We then drove into Montenegro. Uh, just looking around, the energy and atmosphere felt a bit different. Things felt a bit more Eastern, you know, like a more Eastern flavor. We hiked up the second tallest mountain in the Balkans. This was in Montenegro and was called uh, Babatov Kuk. It took about seven hours to hike up it and down it again. Actually, I hiked, well, I hiked 30 minutes up the wrong mountain and then 20 minutes back down the wrong mountain. For nothing, I could see my friend microscopically in the distance, like very small, shouting, Tristan, you've gone up the wrong way, come back. Uh, so that was a waste of time. But anyway, after four hours up the correct side of the mountain, we got to the peak the, of Babatov Cook. The peak means the very top of the mountain. The highest point of the mountain is the peak. And we couldn't see anything because of the clouds. For the last 30 minutes of the climb, we just saw just nothing, just white fog. We could hardly see. So yeah, so that was uh, the view from the peak. Also at the peak, at the highest part of the mountain, there was a dog there. I have no idea whose dog it was or how it got there. Personally, I think the climb is too difficult for a dog. You had to hold some metal parts of the mountain and there's a bit of climbing. A dog can't do that. So why was there a dog at the top of the mountain? It didn't belong to any climbers. It had a little scarf, it was about this big. It was quite cute but I, I don't know how it got there. So the houses in this part of Montenegro are the Alpine style roof. Yeah, the steep angles. This is so snow can easily slide off in the winter so the roof doesn't cave in from the weight of the snow. If you want a more inexpensive Mediterranean beach holiday, Montenegro is your place. The food is superb, great wine, olive oil, Mediterranean food, very reasonably priced accommodation. Bikici Beach is where we stayed. Uh, it's been voted the best beach in all of Europe. I'm not sure what year, but at some time it was. What was surprising about this beach is that many of the rocks were green. It was a pebble beach. A pebble is a very small rock, about this big, like one, three, four, inches big as a, as a pebble. When a beach has lots of small rocks instead of sand, we call it a pebble beach. This was a pebble beach with many green pebbles and it was surrounded by mountains that went into the clouds. So imagine a moon crescent beach. Many of the rocks and pebbles are green with mountains on the side going into the clouds. However, it was peak season so it was the most crowded beach I've ever seen. Something I noticed is the mostly Serbian and Russian tourists don't mind the crowds. They don't care. I think they like being together compared to British people, <laughs> from my experience. So yeah, in the UK, people like their personal space a bit more. I'm not sure most English and British people would enjoy B Bikichi Beach for that reason. But naturally, it was a, a beautiful beach. Oh yeah, peak season, another bit of vocabulary for you. Peak season is the most, is the busiest time at a holiday destination, is the peak season. And that's enough for today's episode. Time for the vocabulary review. We have dry as a bone, peak season, vegetation, summit, pebble, and peak. One. Which noun do we say to describe the plants, trees, or crops of a place? Okay, vegetation, vegetation, V-E-G-E-T-A-T-I-O-N. Examples, 
In Antarctica, there is not much vegetation. There is lots of rainforest vegetation in Malaysia. Next, what is the noun for a very small rock? About this big, yeah? Pebble, pebble, P-E-B-B-L-E. -E. Examples, the beach where I grew up is a pebble beach. Brighton in the UK has a popular pebble beach. Uh, hey, how far can you throw this pebble into the sea? Next, what idiom do we use if something is very, very dry? We say, dry as a bone. Example, this field is dry as a bone. It hasn't rained for weeks. We can also say, bone dry. This field is bone dry. Look at the cracks in the ground. Bone dry, dry as a bone, same meaning, exactly the same. Okay, what noun means the highest part of a mountain? The peak, the peak, P-E-A-K. You always put the in front of it because there is only one peak. Examples, the peak of Mount Everest is at 8,848 meters above sea level. In Montenegro, it took us four hours to reach the peak. Another word for peak is the summit, the mountain's summit, S-U-M-M-I-T. Example, uh, the summit of Mount Everest is 8,848 meters above sea level. And what noun do we use for the, to describe the busiest time of year in a holiday destination when there are the most tourists? We say the peak season, or another word is the high season, okay? The high season or the peak season. So I hope you've learned something from this podcast. Uh, we did not have time to talk about the final and perhaps the most fascinating country on this trip, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'll tell you about it in a future episode. Like and share this video with anyone who may benefit. Listen to it as many times as you can before you get bored or go mad. Remember, the more you listen to it, the more you'll understand and the more chance you'll have to pick up new language, both consciously and subconsciously. In next week's episode, we'll look at seven new and different reasons of why you should learn English. See you next week.